The solar system consists of one large sun, eight planets, and approximately 150 moons that revolve around those eight planets. Humans live on Earth, next to Venus and Mars, and all planets orbit around our sun. Venus is the closest planet to Earth and is the second planet from the solar system in terms of proximity to the Sun, and it is also considered a rocky planet like Mercury, Mars and Earth. The rest of the eight planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune, are gas planets. What do we know about the planet Venus? Venus is called the twin planet of the planet Earth, and the reason for naming it by this name is due to its great resemblance to Earth in many things such as size and composition. The name of the planet Venus in English is Venus. The reason for naming this name goes back to the goddess of beauty and love among the ancient Romans, while the Arabs named it after Venus in relation to its color. Astronomers sent the Mariner vehicle to Venus in 1962. This was the first visit to Venus. The vehicle approached the planet at a distance of 34.773 kilometers and the vehicle weighed 203 kilograms. Exploration of Venus. The Soviets were the first to show interest in Venus. Between 1961 and 1984 they sent no less than 18 probes to the planet, but they were shattered by the extremely high atmospheric pressure on the planet's surface. In 1967, Venera 4 became the first spacecraft that was able to analyze the atmosphere of another planet. The vehicle did not survive the violent atmosphere of Venus and was not able to touch its surface but it was able to measure the concentrations of carbon dioxide gas that cause the deadly greenhouse effect on the planet. Record the probe also has very high temperatures, average 430 degrees Celsius, and an atmosphere that is 90 times denser than Earth's. The first black and white panoramas of Venus's soil, an expanse of basalt rock, were sent back in 1975 by the Venera 9 probe. From these images we know that the planet, which may have been submerged in oceans for more than 3 billion years, has now turned into a desert hostile even to spacecraft. In the 1980s, more images were sent of the rocky planet very similar to Earth. The Venera 11 and Venera 12 missions revealed the phenomenon of lightning, while the Venera 13 and Venera 14 probes sent the first color images of the Earth and recorded sounds on the surface which were the first sounds to be sent from an extraterrestrial world. Earth. In 1985, the twin Vega probe showed that it was possible to bring science instruments to the surface with balloons able to float quietly among the clouds of Venus. Meanwhile, NASA launched the Mariner and Pioneer missions to explore Venus. In 1962, the Mariner 2 spacecraft made a close flyby of Venus where it determined that temperatures were cooler in the cloud layer and very hot near the surface. Beginning in 1978, the Pioneer missions have made a continuous and meticulous study of Venus's atmosphere, surface properties, and magnetic field that had not been studied before. In 1990, in NASA's last mission to explore Venus, the Magellan probe entered the orbit of the planet. On a mission that lasted four years, the probe discovered that about 85% of the surface of Venus is covered with lava deposits. Comparison of Earth and Venus. Here are some of the most important differences between Earth and Venus. Venus is one of the closest planets to our Earth. The distance separating it from Earth is 38 to 40 million kilometers. Its radius is approximately 6,052 kilometers, which is approximately 95% of the Earth's radius. The volume of Venus is 928 cubic kilometers, which is equivalent to about 85.7% of the volume of Earth. The mass of Venus is 4.8675 times 10 to the 24 kilograms, which is equivalent to 81.5% of the Earth's mass. Its gravity is almost equal to Earth's, estimated at 8.87 meters per square second, which is approximately 90% of Earth's gravity. Venus differs from Earth in that it does not have any satellites orbiting around it, and Venus and Mercury are the only planets in the solar system that do not have moons. Scientists say that the absence of a moon orbiting Venus made it unstable and its climate violent and could not be suitable for life, and this is what would be the situation of planet Earth if it had no moon orbiting it. The length of one day on Venus is 117 days on the planet, or approximately 2802 Earth hours and to complete its full cycle around itself, it needs 5,832.6 Earth hours. 
Venus has a magnetic field like Earth due to the presence of minerals such as iron in its core, but the magnetic field of Venus is weaker than Earth's magnetic field. The most important tropical characteristics of Venus. The distance between Venus and the Sun is 108.94 million kilometers at the apogee, the farthest point of Venus from the Sun, and this distance is 107.48 million kilometers at the perihelion, the closest point of Venus to the Sun. As for the axis of Venus, it tilts about 3 degrees from the vertical line on the horizon, and this is the reason for the absence of any diverse seasons on the planet. Venus, along with Uranus, are the only two planets in our solar system that rotate from east to west, unlike all other planets. Venus moves in its orbit around the Sun at a speed of about 35.02 km per hour. Therefore, it takes 225 Earth days to complete a complete revolution around the Sun. Components of Venus Venus consists of two large continents, one of which is in the northern section and is called Ishtar Hai, and its area is approximately the size of the continent of Australia. As for the second continent, it is found in the southern section and is called Aphrodite, which is larger than the northern continent, as its area is equal to the size of the continent of Africa. Volcanic plains are widespread on Venus, along with plains and valleys. The highest mountain elevation on the surface of Venus is Mount Maxwell, which is about 8.8 .8 kilometers high. The crust of Venus consists of three layers. Thin crust. The mantle contains hot rocks. The core that contains iron metal in its solid state. Climate on Venus. The climate on Venus is violent and does not allow life on its surface, as it is characterized by very high atmospheric pressure and acid rain that can cause minerals to dissolve. For this reason, spacecraft cannot be sent to land on its surface, and the only Soviet vehicle that landed on its surface broke down after several minutes and only some pictures were sent to Earth that showed a solid, uninhabitable surface. The atmosphere of Venus consists of carbon dioxide, which is about 96%. In addition to nitrogen gas, which reaches 3.5%, and this value is four times what is present on the surface of the Earth. It also contains other gases in the atmosphere of Venus, such as carbon monoxide, argon gas, water vapor is less than 1%. The increase in carbon dioxide gas on the surface of Venus led to the phenomenon of global warming, which led to a significant increase in the temperature of its surface, and therefore the planet became the hottest in the solar system so that its temperature is more than the temperature of the planet Mercury, although Mercury is closer to the Sun than Venus. The temperature of Venus reaches approximately 464 degrees Celsius. It is also considered a toxic planet due to the presence of sulfuric acid clouds in its atmosphere.